Okay, so in today's video, I want to talk about confidence. Anyways, what's popping? What's popping? What's popping? What's popping? What's popping? What's popping? Do y'all dance and sing with me, or is it? Or are you just watching me act a fool? What's popping? What's popping? What? Today's daily affirmation is: <laughs> I have the power to choose. A lot of times we have, we feel like we don't have the power to say no. We don't have the power to say yes. We go with the flow. We don't allow ourselves to choose what's best for us. And I'm telling you, you have the power to choose. You have the power to choose who's in your life, who's not in your life. You have the power to choose whether you want this job or not. You have the power to choose White Castle or what what a bur what a burger what a girl by repeat after me you have the power to choose say it again you have the power to choose without further ado let's get right into the video okay so in today's video i want to talk about confidence and talk about you being enough so okay if you guys have been following me for a while, you do know that I have struggled a long time, like a very long time with people pleasing. I have struggled with being alone. I have allowed certain things in my life to happen uh, that should not happen. I allow people to be in my life that after a while it shouldn't be I give too many chances like because I didn't feel that I was enough I didn't have the confidence in myself and listen I'm still working on it shorty just turned 35 last week and I tell you right now I'm still working on that confidence part of me um, if you guys want to know where I got my lipstick from, it was is Black Opal. I was talking to a guy, and in the beginning, it was like really open, right? And he decided he was talking to other people as well, but he decided that he wanted to stop talking to so many people at once and decided to speak with the person he was talking to before me exclusively um to date them exclusively that kind of hurt because i felt like our bond was so tight and i just felt like what another person that i have a connection with doesn't want me like what is wrong with me and that took me and even though it was such a like simple situation it took me down like the rabbit hole of second guessing myself and thinking that i wasn't good enough and i had to sit down and think to myself like why is it when people don't choose me the first thing that i jump to is i'm not good enough i am not wanted and the simple answer is is because i don't feel without that i am enough I don't hold myself to the high standard that I hold everybody else to. And for a long time, that has been my thing. Like, if somebody ch doesn't choose me, friends, family, job, it doesn't matter. If I'm not the one chosen, I take it so personally. Leave in the comment box below if you guys have ever had those type of feelings. I take it so personally that I feel like, listen, what the f I'm like, I'm suavemente besame. Like, why nobody want, like, like, what is up with me? And then I remember this person once telling me that my standards are too high. Like, I need to meet people where, they're, uh, where they are. And yes, I do in some occasions need to meet people where they, where they are. But as far as my standards being high, look. I had to argue with it and that's when I like it kind of connected in my head like listen um no my standards are not too high what I expect from people is what I expect and if you can't bring it forward then that's fine I don't have to be your enemy but I don't need to have you in my life because once you don't have standards for yourself you allow everything 
everything and it took me a while to even get to that point to have standards because like I said I used to just have any and anybody just walk on in and walk on out of my life listen I had friends that I met here and I had sunglasses that were on the table for like a month and I kept them in that same position because I didn't feel the need to wear them outside it was too cold the one time that they came over here they left the next day I go look for my sunglasses my sunglasses are gone I ripped the house up and down looking for my sunglasses but subconsciously I knew what was taking place because I didn't have that much confidence in myself and I didn't want to be alone I did still decided to be friends with these people being friends with them also allowed me to see that my definition of friendship is not the same as theirs you know what I'm saying like I somebody might think that friends need to call and talk every single day some people think friends need to talk every other day it just depends on you and don't let nobody make you feel no type of way with how you expect friendships to be like I can't do all this for you and be a su emotional support system for you and you can't be that for me I can't come into your house and not touch anything that don't belong to me and you come into my humble abode and you pick up my stuff and keep it moving I can't do that with you you feel what I'm saying I can't do that with you and the fact that that was done normal people would have brought it up and cut that friendship off completely me I decided to suppress it because what I didn't want to be alone I had friends here in Dallas um, I didn't want to stay in the house all by myself you know what I mean so let me just suck it up it's just sunglasses and keep it moving but no I have to know that I am enough I deserve all the best I deserve people in my life that will not do stuff like that and that goes for you as well don't let these people make you feel inadequate don't let these people make you feel like what you expect and what you want is too outrageous don't let them make you feel this way because the people who are meant to to come up to that level as to what you expect will come so easily and they will do these things so easily without you even questioning yourself without you even asking questions without you even telling them this without you even complaining about that once you realize you are enough and once you realize that you do not deserve crap from anybody you release all these things that don't serve you you release all these people do, that just does not have your best interest and watch who starts coming into your life let me tell y'all something i released them two girls and within a couple days and i wasn't looking but within a couple days i found two people in replacement of them that are super dope i don't talk to them every day I don't see them every day which I used to think like I need to see and speak to my friends every single day but with these girls I don't and when we do see each other it's just like we never miss the beat there's respect there so I just want y'all to know like once you take back your power and understand who the hell you are sis yeah the world opens up and that's with everything in your life relationships as well i'm trying to tell y'all if you guys understand what i'm saying leave it in the comment box below if you want to talk more about this discussion leave it in the comment box below i love talking with you guys i love seeing you guys talk back with each other if you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to like comment and subscribe share this video because i really want to start public speaking so share this video across all your social medias and i love you guys so so much see you later tiger lilies too crash course let me have the money in the dashboard max mad could you lost the brick inside the porch goofy with the curb